Is there a benefit to taking photos in daylight versus under the artificial fluorescent lights of the hospital? It, there's, it does help a little bit in daylight. But daylight, you can see, of course. And, um, but it's still in shadow, it's still dark. Um, <clears throat> so that way, when it's dark as it is, I have to use a flash more to show baby's pictures, try to show the details of the bullet holes. Do you label them or mark them in any way at the scene? Say it again, sorry. Do you label or mark the bullet holes in any way at the scene? No. Right. So going forward through the photos of the Jeep. Yeah, this is the, I didn't go inside the vehicle, but I could take photographs from the open doors to show the interior. This is the real passenger seat. And as we noticed, there's many items, there's thick concealed blood, there's many items inside the vehicle. Do you remember what the weather was like that morning? Say it again, you said. Do you remember what the weather was like the that morning? The weather was hot, humid, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> it wasn't raining, dry, humid. Early morning, sorry. This is a rear trunk area. And it's still, you're not entering the vehicle in any way, shape, or form for these photos. Yeah, and this, um, there was a bullet hole back there. Okay. This is the van number. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. What is a VIN number? So the VIN number here is three C four N J D D B two J T one nine eight nine two nine. Okay. And what are you documenting in this photo? This is the driver's seat, and uh, various items inside it. So the exterior of the driver's door. Then again, those are some marks. The damage. To the vehicle in the hood, the bumper area. As a crime scene investigator, do you respond out to run of the mill car crashes? I don't understand the question. Do you go to hit and runs on the side of the road as a crime scene investigator? I do do hit and runs. In terms of the documentation that you do for a crash, is that something you, as part of your training and experience that you would have been done over the past 20 some years in crime scene? Yes, I do have experience in photographing vehicles and what often happens. Okay. And of course, when you do, <coughs> for example, if it's an accident vehicle, you do want to document the damage to the vehicle. Okay. Because if it's the, <coughs> the hood is damaged, as you can see, it's misaligned there. Did you have any idea as to when that damage could have occurred? No idea how the damage occurred. What is your job when you're doing this? Document, collect evidence, and process evidence. So after you finish doing all of the exterior photos of the Jeep, what do you do next? As I explained before, I then went to meet the driver of this vehicle. Do you make sure that this Jeep is sealed? To what do you mean? Do you secure the doors and other areas of the Jeep with evidence tape? Yes. Um, prior to the search one, we will then seal out the vehicle with red evidence tape. Okay. Moving on, there is now a photo placard A in this photo. A is an A bullet projectile, which is by the um, passenger side rear tire. Is that the item in question? This is it. Correct. And do you know what this little gray round thing is over on this side? That was the file stem cap from uh, the time. And 
terms of this view here, uh, why do you take multiple photos of placard A? Take multiple photographs to show the location, general shelf, establishing shelf, and then close-ups. And the next photograph shows the seal and sealing up the vehicle, red evidence tape, which I put my initials in. <coughs> okay, and you do that around the entire vehicle? Yes. At, how do you transport the vehicle from the hospital? We could use a tow truck service. And when we do tow, so for example here, A and B, I document it being put on to the flatbed, and then I escort it to a secure facility. So in that way we know nobody touches the vehicle, nobody opens the door, they don't break the seal. So we use a tow truck to take it to a secure facility. Do you then secure it in the facility and secure that with evidence tape as well? Correct. And the, we take it to the, um, this was a wet substation, and I seal up the door, lock the uh, water shepherds to preserve the evidence. Okay. Going now, so you mentioned you processed an individual at the hospital. Correct. Who was that individual you processed? Name was Cortland Henry. When so, you're, where was Mr. Henry being held or kept? It's in this room. So photo shows, isolation exam room 18. Was anyone else in the room with Mr. Henry when you went in there? There was an officer guarding him. Yes. Is this how you found Mr. Henry when you entered? Did you explain? So I photographed. Victim, a suspect, we photograph them and search through how you find them. I also look to see if there's any visible injuries, say, any blood on the hands, for example. So I'm photographing the hands. And we photograph <coughs> tattoos, okay. any form of identification marks. And was Mr. Henry wearing a hospital issued identification tag or bracelet? Well, there's a hospital identification time for him recording. So the items over here in the floor, what are those? These are the clothing that Cotton Henry was wearing when he came into the hospital. I didn't see him wearing the clothes, but that's what the uh, responding, the first officer told me, this is his clothes, I was in the room with him. And typical hospital procedures, they take off the clothes. Which is why every time we go to the hospital, they don't need it. Why do they remove the clothes? And there's two bags here. The one has the footwear and the other bag has the clothing. Okay, I want to start and show you with in previous instructions to defense counsel as state triple C. Do you recognize this item? Yes, I recognize it. How do you recognize this? Oh, it had my handwriting on it. It has my initial date and it does give a brief a description of what it did. What is that item? This item is a t shirt, black t shirt with Drew film edit written on it. And is that item in the same or substantially same condition as when you collected it? Yes, it does. Was there two cuttings taken from that shirt and done by you at a later date? That is was collected from this shirt, yes. Is that the shirt packaged as it was after you took the cuttings? Yes, this is how I packaged the evidence after I have collected my evidence from this okay. item. Here at this time, the state would request to retreat states triple C in as our next exhibit. No objection, Your Honor. 52. <laughs> it will be admitted. States triple C in mark states 52. And that's under Kelly, if I can be so kind as to ask you to publish this shirt. There are gloves to your left, and I'm going to grab you some scissors. Okay. 
ですよ Thank you so much. If you would be kind enough to repackage that. 